If we look into the widths of the cosmos, or also only into our next environment, we see an unbelievably perfect net from material appearances and dynamics. As in nature, everything in the cosmos seems to be designed and conceived in a perfect way. Since natural science has been able to peer into small ecosystems on our planet and study the larger cosmic relationships, it has become increasingly clear that behind it all is a harmony and a balance whose origins still puzzle us. Today, we want to approach the perfection of the cosmos and possible explanations on philosophical as well as on the scientific side. Before we start with the main topic, we still have a request of our own. We want to make our channel as exciting as possible and we need your help. Leave us a comment after the video, which is interesting, funny, or technically enriching for all readers. If you are one of our subscribers, you'll receive a heart from us as a thank you, and we will pin your important contribution at the top so that everyone reads it first. If you want to participate here, make sure you already have a subscription, like the video, and write us about both at the beginning of your comment. We already thank you and start now with the fascinating journey to the perfection of creation. Chaos and Perfection Our world can sometimes seem terribly disorganized, chaotic, or confusing. But that's only on the surface, and it also makes up only a small part of what creation really is. Imagine you are standing at a busy intersection in downtown New York City at rush hour. Everything is going haywire. Irritated drivers are honking, passersby are cursing, and the whole scene seems like one big mess. But if you take a closer look, you'll see an incredible perfection in this scene. The drivers in their vehicles operate the gear shift, the gas pedal, and the steering, almost blindly. Passersby skillfully put one leg in front of the other, and somehow everyone finds their way in this hustle and bustle. If you take a closer look, you will find perfect biochemical processes in people's bodies. Hormones regulate the waking sleep rhythm, the heart pumps blood through the veins, and breathing ensures that the human system is always supplied with sufficient oxygen. Even deeper insights reveal to you that this seemingly chaotic scene is an incredibly perfect arrangement of particles like atoms. In these, oscillating neutrons, protons, and electrons in perfect harmony, and even deeper you will find elementary particles like quarks, controlled by information and frequencies rising from a vacuum or the matrix. If we look from the world of the smallest particles into the world of the big and very big appearances we find in the cosmos, the unbelievable harmony and beauty of star systems with their planets, shapely spiral arm or disk galaxies, cosmic nebulae shine in bright colors, and show partly unbelievable geometrical forms and harmonies. All this we can see and observe only since a little more than 100 years. Before that, people did not know about atoms, light particles, other stars or galaxies. Or in other words, we did not know for sure. The Schools of Thought of Antiquity Already in antiquity, great natural scientists like Aristotle, Plato, Pythagoras, and also Arab scholars recognized a mysterious harmony as a driving force or a basis of creation. The ideas of the sphere harmonies and even the existence of the smallest particles, atoms, have their origin in a time long before super telescopes or microscopes let us see with our eyes what the people of antiquity could only assume. Socrates and his fellow scientists drew their insights from observations of nature. They recognized the beauty and perfection in nature and transferred it to the overall picture of creation. The scholar Hermes Trismegistos formulated in his Hermetic Laws that the phenomena and processes in the microcosm must also apply to the macrocosm 
or in other words, the world of the greatest phenomena. Indeed, in modern times, more and more proof seem to appear for it. Researchers have found out in the meantime that the rotation, oscillation, and dependencies of the smallest particles resemble those of planets, stars, or even whole galaxies. Are we a perfect exception? Today, from the purely technical side, we already know a great deal about how life arises. We know about carbon structures, the importance of water, genes, and the paths of evolution from single-celled organisms to complex living beings like humans. If we follow the path from the first microorganisms to humans, we also recognize an incredible perfection. One could almost say a mysterious will. It can appear as if all that we know as our reality, our environment, or the cosmos was willed exactly this way by some secret force, and this force possibly drives the entire cosmos. Ever since we have been able to peer into the vastness of space, we have been confronted with the elemental question of whether we are the only biologically organic living beings in this world. The cosmos is incredibly large, and we have discovered an incredible amount of stars and galaxies, but other life forms have not. On the one hand, this can be explained quite simply by the fact that other planets have not been as easy for us to find as large shining stars or galaxies. On the other hand, of course, we have to wonder why other life forms do not exist right on our cosmic doorstep in our own star system. So far, space shows us a great wealth of easily observable objects. According to some branches of science, we can or must assume with a high degree of certainty that such a wealth also exists in the diversity of life, only we can neither see nor contact these other living beings so far. By the observation of exoplanets and the knowledge of our own, so far, lonely or exposed existence, in a large universe, we know that a perfection from the size of the Earth, its axis position, distance to the Sun, the presence of the Moon, and further sizes led to the fact that life could develop and be preserved on our planet. But it's unlikely that this perfection is an isolated case in the vastness of the cosmos. Is everything only a coincidence? With the question whether this perfection is only a coincidence or willed, we move quite clearly away from the thoughts and explanation approaches of classical natural science and move into the dimensions of philosophy, metaphysics, and also religion. For centuries, these disciplines were not separate, nor were they contradictory. Again and again, natural scientists of the present time tried to answer the big questions about the meaning and or the randomness of our existence. The anthropic principles went so far as to claim that the universe was created only so that we humans could experience it and our own existence. These views receive an interesting confirmation in modern quantum physics. Ever since the double-slit experiment, we know that our observation and consciousness are involved in the creation of matter. Consciousness forms matter, and this is exactly what ancient Indian scholars claimed 3,000 years ago, drawing their insights from meditation, mind training, and the observation of nature. At present, we cannot say with certainty whether we are the only observers and thus creators in this world. With it, we also do not know whether the universe was created only for us, or whether the cosmos is possibly one big, intelligent, and multi-dimensional force which observes, maintains, and creates itself. The Perfect Cosmological Worldview In the 1940s, scientists Fred Hoyle, Herman Bondi, and Thomas Gold came up with an interesting theory. They assumed, even before the Big Bang Theory took hold, that the universe existed as an external and perfect place. The perfect universe theory and the associated steady state or equilibrium theory state that the universe was a perfect creation from the beginning. Matter within the cosmos is always fed in small amounts from as yet unknown sources and then moved by fundamental forces such as gravity electromagnetism, and the weak and strong interactions, it says. In 2014, 
a previously unknown manuscript by Albert Einstein, was found at the University of Jerusalem. In 1931, Einstein had come to very similar beliefs as the scientists Hoyle, Bundy, and Gold a few years later. Einstein also assumed that creation was based on something like an eternal harmony. Later, the perfect universe theory was supposedly disproved by the Big Bang theory and the discovery of cosmic background radiation. In the 1990s, researchers revisited both theories and attempted to unify them in new ways, particularly based on the findings of quantum mechanics. Fred Hoyle, Jeffrey Burbage, and Jayon V. Narlicker brought both theories together and showed that the idea of an eternal and perfect cosmos does not have to contradict the Big Bang theory and expansion of the universe at all. At the same time, the theory of the multiverse appeared, in which our expanding universe is probably only a small section. Hoyle, Burbage, and Narlicker's explanatory approach assumed many small mini-bangs or mini-emergent events instead of one Big Bang. According to this, the universe is fed from multiple sources and many bangs may be taking place in our immediate environment all the time, without us noticing. We can observe, measure, and describe a great deal today, but the cosmos is still full of phenomena that remain a mystery to this day. Open-minded scientists admit that most of what we think we know is not absolute or incontrovertible, nor do we know if we will ever fully understand and decipher the mysteries of the universe and creation. Who is behind this perfection? When a seed falls on the ground, moisture, nutrients in the soil, and inherent forces cause it to form a shoot and a new plant. In this process, too, we find incredible perfection. We can observe the seed, cut it up, find genes, describe the interaction between water heat, and nutrients. And still in the end, we don't know why the seed becomes a perfect plant. What driving or all-determining force makes a tiny little seed turn into a big tree is still a mystery. At this point, naturally, one would like to think of a god or an intelligent creator. Looking at it a bit more soberly, one must admit that there are possibly still further elementary forces than what we have discovered in the last 10 to 50 or even 100 years. We'd now like to know from you what you think about these ideas. We'd love to hear your opinions and ideas, of course appropriate to the theme. Remember to mention your subscription if you have one and to like the video. Until next time on Simply Space.